Wall Street Week. Produced Friday, September 18. Your host for Wall Street Week is Louis Rukeyser. Our panelists are Bernadette Bartels, Frank Cappiello, and Howard P. Calhoun. Tonight's special guest is Adam Smith, author. Good evening, I'm Louis Rukeyser. This is Wall Street Week. Welcome back. Well, this was the week when Paul Volcker said he wasn't kidding and the stock market believed him. The noble minions of Wall Street, whose consistency in these matters is akin to that of a neurotic chameleon, had been hoping for a sign from the Federal Reserve Chairman that he had decided to rejoin the inflationary side for the coming fall season. No such luck. Volcker, who had run a pretty fast printing press himself during much of 1979 and 1980, seems definitely to have got religion however belated and improbable the conversion. I think going on a gold standard is a form of nostalgia. I think people overlook that uh, when, we, when the gold standard worked so wonderfully, there was one great bank in the world, the Bank of England, and it had tied the uh, gold to currency. I think the world is very complex now, and it's a, it's a sign of our faith in uh, people to manage their own affairs that we want something uh, organic or inorganic like gold. Well, the investment that it was for most people in recent years. I have no doubt of that. That chapter of my book is uncannily accurate. And that's an it, objective criticism. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, the other chapters? <laughs> growing companies. Sorry. Adolescence is a great time. You get big growth spurts. Uh, let's define these companies. What's, what is small to you? Small could be anywhere from 20 to $150 million in sales. And do you have guidelines how fast they have to be growing, for example? Well, that relates to the price, but it'd be nice to have them growing 20 or 25 or 30 percent a year. Are there particular industries where you're finding them these days? Lou, I'm a sucker for uh, newfangled things. If somebody says floppy disk to me, I get a tingle. <laughs> a limp tingle, I assume. <laughs> Floppy disk is a, is, is a big area for you? <laughs> Floppy disks are sexy. Okay. What are some other sexy areas? <laughs> well, let's, let's bring in the sense of history. Sense of history would tell us that um, we're, we're in the middle. Don't look at that Dow Jones average you show at the beginning and end of all of your shows. I mean, that's the, where it was in 1965. That's the beginning. You're the end, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> the living end. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, don't look at that. You're in the middle of a, of a revolution that's as big as the revolution that first brought in the steam engine, and that's the microprocessor and microchip revolution. And this is, you can see it changing life all around you. And just as in England in the 19th century, people made fortunes in the British stock market for every kind of gear that was brought out by some inventor or every kind of uh, widget, uh, now there's a window opening every other week for some something related to computers, information, technology, microprocessors, and what have you. And some of these things will fail. Some of those succeed. But it, it gives you a lot of volatility that's, uh, to me, much more exciting than debating on whether uh, Union Carbide is a buy or not. Jerry, you have talked of a sense of history tonight. And in the nature of things, as a book writer, you have to take a longer sweep. Why are you an optimist? It uh, was ingrained into me by my mother. Uh, bears make money quickly and I just never do. Do you th see things happening in this country that encourage you? I think some of the adjustments that have been made are encouraging. And if you travel around the country, the uh, temper of the people is a lot better than the media presents it to be. Well, we're glad to have a better temper presented tonight. And uh, thank you very much, Jerry Goodman, AKA Adam Smith, for joining us tonight. Thanks, too, to our panelists. And I hope you'll be back with us again next week when we'll be talking about the million-dollar game called Penny Stocks. Alan Aden, who's a top money manager in Denver, which is to Penny Stocks what Las Vegas is to slot machines, will be giving us his views on how to tell growth stock from fraud schlock. And it won't even cost you a penny for his thoughts. Meanwhile, this has been Wall Street Week. I'm Louis Bukaiser. Good night. <laughs>